Hey everybody, I'm Tommy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set the knives on a Porter Cable benchtop joiner. Whether it's your first time here, or even if you've been here before, welcome to One Minute Workbench. This method is specific to the Porter Cable benchtop joiner and maybe a few select other brands because this jointer has a special mechanism that locks the cutter head in just the right place for adjusting the knives. Because of this feature, it doesn't require any special jigs or tools, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes, you can get really good results. First, clamp your blade guard so it's out of the way. If you have this jointer or one similar to it, it will have a couple of set screws and a handful of screws that hold a clamping plate down over the blade. Using the Allen wrench that came with your jointer, loosen the blade screws. Now, if you're only adjusting the blade, you can slightly loosen each screw. If you're removing the blade to sharpen or replace it, you'll need to completely remove each screw. You can then lift the blade and clamping plate out of the assembly. Remember to be careful because these knives can be razor sharp. To replace the blade, drop it back into the same position in the cutter head. You may need to slide the blade so that the holes align with the screw holes. Then place the clamping plate back over the blade and add the screws back in. You'll want to tighten the screws until they make contact, but don't fully tighten them down yet. If the blade has wiggle room, then it's too loose. You need it to be tight enough that it doesn't wiggle, but no tighter than that. Engaging the cutter headlock will hold the blade in the correct position for setting its height. If your jointer doesn't have a cutter headlock or height adjusting set screws, you'll need to use a method that's different from this one. Set a metal ruler on the outfeed table so that it hovers over the blade near the cutter headlock. Then, using the same Allen wrench, turn the closest set screw to raise or lower that end of the blade. For the sake of this video, I've lowered the blade significantly so you can see it coming up into position. You want the blade to just barely make contact with the ruler as you see here. Then do the same thing for the other end of the blade. Again, you want it to just make contact. If it lifts the ruler off the outfeed table, you've gone too far and will need to back off just a bit. If everything looks good, you can now fully tighten the screws. To check the blade's height, set your ruler on the outfeed table again and slowly roll the cutter head back and forth. The blade should grab the ruler and pull it forward just slightly, let's say by just about an eighth of an inch. Be sure to check it at both ends of the blade. If it doesn't pull the blade at all, it's too low and needs to be reset. Likewise, if it pulls the blade more than say about a quarter of an inch, it's too high and again, it'll need to be reset. Once you've got it just right, you can repeat the process for any other blades that need adjusting or replacing. Again, make sure the clamping plate screws are nice and tight. And finally, you can test the jointer to see if you're getting nice flat cuts. As you can see here, after adjusting this blade, the jointer is indeed making nice flat cuts. If you aren't getting a good result, your blade is likely too high or too low. Just repeat the steps and really focus on making sure you're getting the blade set at just the right height. Hey, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon so you get notified every time there's a new episode. I'd love to hear what you think of this project in the comment section below. And if you have any quick questions you want answered, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. And until the next time I see you, 
I hope you have fun building something.